So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your fourth chatbot development tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to set up a basic, actually send a basic reply to the user who's messaging your chatbot and there's a bit of change in plan. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use ngrok instead of Heroku for the URL which we were regarding as a webhook. Now the reason is that Pushing files on Heroku app deploying is kind of slow and the free plan of Heroku it, when the pro, the dynamos which is provides I don't know it's called dynos I guess they are kind of slow because when I deploy my app and then go to Facebook to check it it kind of does not work it works after like a minute or so so what this ngrok would do is that it would tunnel your local host to an online web address and it's quite simple and easy to use just download it and uh, for example for me it just shows me Mac OS just download it for Windows just download it and you'd be good to go so when you unzip it and uh, you'll get something like uh, this file right and then what you have to do is go to terminal go to Oh, actually I'm already in downloads right so I'm in this ngrok right so what you have to do is write ngrok HTTP and AT now what it does is it tunnels the HTTP port 80 to this URL right here right so if I copy this and open right here right you can see that it shows me it works because I am running a bash CTL so you might need to run a bash CTL start on your Mac before because mine is already running so that is why it shows me it works and uh, it's working directory I guess I have in clipboard no I just copied that so it's working directory is uh, in I guess where is it library web server and then documents right so CD documents so now you can see that this index.html.en is the file which is this one it works right so if I create and I guess you have to make use of sudo here because in my case this is restricted so let's just say this is chatbot.php and then sudo atom chatbot.php right so you can see that I'm in chatbot.php okay so now if I do something like uh, like that and I go to actually you can go to localhost 4040 as well as an inspector and go to status copy this URL open it right here and go to chatbot.php you can see that we get hello world and it's HTTPS it's not localhost so Facebook would be good to go right and we are getting all the requests right here so that's a plus point okay so yeah we need to change our endpoint the webhook so I might better create another application and delete this one so give me a minute for that and I'll be right back okay so now you can see that I have coded this verification webhook verification and uh, let's just set it up real quick this is our URL chatbot.php and just put in there abc123 and just verify and save 
and you'll be good to go right so now you have successfully changed the webhook select the page chatbot code dam provided all the access it wants and uh, then select the chatbot subscribe and you you're good to go now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna send and receive some messages right so let me show you something if we add something like input is file get contents and then PHP input right and if I do like uh, war dump input but check this out if I go to my page again so this would be Facebook you're gonna see that uh, if I pass in something like hi and go to my ngrok inspector you see we get a post request and you can just either see here in the post summary or right here so it's one and the same thing so let's just see here you can see that uh, we get a JS1 object as a response by messenger and it consists of the sender ID the recipient ID which is our ID probably the sender one is the one which sent us so we we're gonna need this ID to reply and then this is the message so this might not always be text for example if you send a thumbs up right and uh, didn't really get there so now you can see that uh, here there's no text right so here's this there's a message field and uh, there's a payload kind of so okay so let's just keep ourselves for restricted to text once only for now and uh, say that uh, user ID is uh, input then entry and what you need to do first is actually just JSON decode this thing so that we can just access it like I'm doing right now right so okay now input entry and uh, where is it input entry messaging zero sender ID entry messaging zero sender ID right and then I need to have message what the user gave me it would be kind of same so input zero entry zero messaging message text message text right we can just echo this user ID and message just in case you want to check so if I do hello here the ngrok right here we get the ID and the message perfect right so now right here we are gonna add some conditions to check what the message is and what we should reply which we'll do later on but for now let's just reply the user actually so for that you need a URL to post to and the URL would be the graph API of Facebook which would be the graph.facebook.com and version 2.6 messages and for this a double c e double s access token now here we need access token and what our access token was is that we do not have one so go ahead right here and did I really name it code down chat book <laughs> anyways so <coughs> here's our token and let's just create that so that if we need it again right and access token
and then what we need to do is we need to perform a call request and before even that we need a JSON data variable and uh, what this could be is that it would contain information like uh, the person you're sending message and make sure the spelling is right R E C I P I E N T right so the ID would be the user ID which we just got right and uh, then the message which I'm gonna send would be let's just say text and this would be hello bro and uh, yeah that would be our JSON object and you can just add quotes if you want because we are gonna send a header as well so next thing what I'm gonna do is write ch is in it and then URL then curl dot setup then this will be ch post is true and then curl set opt ch url post opt and then post fields f i e l d s right json data then set opt ch and then header is uh, content type of application JSON right and uh, finally what I have to do is say if message or actually not message this whole field right here this message field right so if you see earlier you can see that uh, or actually let me just go ahead with the text one only so let's just keep it to text for now so I'm gonna say that uh, or actually yes we do have the message field don't we because no it's just the text so okay I'm gonna say if message is uh, kind of uh, not equal to something like this it's not empty then what I wanna do or actually let's just say that uh, if message uh, what should we do actually let me just do if input entry messaging and then by after messaging I'm just gonna check this message right if, if it's empty or not right so this one would be good okay if that is true that means that is not empty just execute our stuff and we'll be happy right so okay and uh, now if I message this and see ngrok we got a request here and we get you must use HTTPS when passing access token well oh I'm using HTTP version of graph API so you shouldn't do that hey and you can see that we got a hello bro message pretty sweet right and if we check the ngrok stats and see that it received a high not high actually it received 
a hello bro right and uh, no matching user found <laughs> I don't know what's that okay yeah that is that might be some sort of confer confirmation call or something no that one is another one three one one zero and uh, oh okay actually we're just echoing this one as well for now so let's just comment that out so what's happening here is that eventually what would happen if I remove this check well then what happens is that the user would be flooded with your messages and uh, say like if I pass in hey I got a hello bro another one and another one and it's kind of slow because it's on my PC but if you just choose a nice fast server then you'll see that these messages would be kind of flooding your messenger and the reason is that uh, now you're not checking if the message is actually empty or not and you can see right here after this message hello bro Facebook send you another post request without any message and this was kind of a delivery report right so that's why you need to check if you are getting a valid message or not and I don't know what it stopped after three but it should actually flood your stuff right you can see it's, it's four now and uh, oh this might be because I'm putting my cursor here maybe so you can just play around with this little and I'm just gonna fix it again by just checking if it's really a message or not you suck robo and as you can see our nice little robo still replies me with hello bro so that is all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one